Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD is a group of lung diseases characterized by scarring of the tiny breathing sacs in your lungs known as alveoli. This makes it hard for you to breathe. The two most common forms of the disease are chronic bronchitis and emphysema. There is no cure for COPD, but you can take steps to manage your symptoms and slow down the disease's progress. Stop smoking. If you smoke, quit. Smoking is the leading cause of COPD, and quitting is the best way to keep your disease from getting worse. Ask your doctor to assist you in developing a quit plan that is right for you. This might include a support group, nicotine replacement products, medications, or a combination of these. Secondhand smoke is also harmful. This is smoke that comes from other people who are smoking, avoid it. Besides smoke from tobacco and street drugs, you should also avoid air pollution, fumes, and dust. Treatment Your healthcare provider may recommend one or more types of medication. Bronchodilators are drugs that relax the muscles around your breathing tubes, making it easier for you to breathe. There are two types of bronchodilators, short-acting bronchodilators, which last about 4 to 6 hours. Long-acting bronchodilators last about 12 hours, bronchodilators are inhaled, so the medicine goes directly to your lungs. You use a device called an inhaler to take this medicine. If your COPD is more severe or if you get frequent flare-ups, your healthcare provider may prescribe a combination of bronchodilators and inhaled steroids. Steroids help ease the inflammation in your breathing tubes. Other steps you should take to manage or prevent COPD include attending all appointments with your healthcare team, refilling your prescriptions before they run out, and getting vaccinated for the flu and pneumonia as recommended by your provider. Pulmonary Rehabilitation Pulmonary rehabilitation is a program that will assist you in remaining as active as possible. A group of healthcare providers, nurses, respiratory therapists, exercise specialists, and dietitians will work together to create a program just for you. These specialists will teach you how to manage your breathing, exercise program, and nutrition. They will also help you get psychological counseling or other types of support. Oxygen Therapy If you have severe COPD, oxygen can help you breathe better. You breathe the oxygen through nasal prongs or a mask. You may need extra oxygen all the time or just when you need to be more physically active. Stay positive. COPD can be a difficult disease to manage. You may sometimes feel anxious, depressed, or fearful. This is common. Talk about your feelings with your healthcare professional. Consider joining a patient support group, whether in person or online, to talk about your frustrations and your victories. It's a great way to learn how other people with COPD manage their symptoms and stay positive. When to call. Call your healthcare provider if you can't catch your breath, you have trouble talking, your usual symptoms are getting worse, or you have signs of an infection, consult your doctor. It's a good idea to keep a phone nearby. Make sure the contact information of your healthcare provider, a family member, or a friend is handy or programmed into your phone, and make a list of all the medications, herbs, and supplements you're taking, and have it ready to give to emergency healthcare providers. To learn about various other medical conditions and how to cope with them, please subscribe and support us, thank you.